Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the panel. So once you've successfully installed the panel, you'll see it pop up here on this right bar. And if you're using a laptop, it may be ideal to put the panel off somewhere on the side so it doesn't take up as much of your screen. So you can put this over here in the same panel, for example, with your histories or properties if you want to as well. But if you're using a second monitor or a bigger laptop screen, then you may just want to keep this here. This is usually where I keep it. And you can just show and hide it by clicking the icon whenever you need to see more of your photo. So a quick overview of the panel and the features. There's going to be four tabs. So your home page is going to be tools. Then you'll have filters, effects, and finish. So on the tools tab, you're going to see luminosity masks here at the top. And then your color masks. And then quick actions. And then you also have this row of blue buttons. So you'll see this row of blue buttons on every page except for the finish. And this is because these are going to be frequently used tools. So you will want to have these available on every page. You also have a bottom row of buttons that will be available on every page, including the finish tab, because some of these will be helpful in some of the processes with the finish. So at the bottom, you'll have a undo and redo button. You'll have a transform tool here, levels, curves. You have your layer mask tool here. This S is for quick saving, so you can save your work as you go. And then the trash can will be to delete. So this will delete a layer unless there's a layer mask on that layer and then it'll delete the layer mask first and then the layer with the second click. Then you'll see the pro panel website here at the bottom and if you click this, this is going to take you to the instructional videos that you're watching right now. Also, we have a link here to my website if you want to go there for any reason. All right, so under filters, you're going to have various different filters and effects. Under correction, these are going to be tools to use to do photo correction or retouching. Then we also have an effects panel with astrophotography tools, then color effects tools for manipulating colors. And then we have our user actions here where you can enter in your own actions. And finally, on the finish tab, we have the area where you're going to select where your photos are saved to, name them, resize or change the color space, save for web, put your watermark there, etc. So that's just a general overview. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this instructional series to get more in-depth tutorials for every different section and all the different features and functions.